Everyone, one hand mostly here, and as a gamer with cerebral palsy and playing most of my games one-handed, I really enjoy collectible card games. So this week, I have a special look at Cardiclism. It will be out in early access on July 29th. I'll be checking out the game's features and settings, and letting you know my accessibility impressions. Let's head into the material realm. All right, here we are inside the interdimensional pub, kind of like the trading place where you rest in between each biome. And I want to show you kind of the unique aspects of what make Cardclasm kind of unique to the collectible card game genre. So it's got two resources. We've got Golden Rune and we've got Soul Orb. Everything else is pretty much standard to every card game. And then they have five different allegiances or uh, type of cards that you can collect through the different biomes. Um, this one you play and it gets mana and you don't really get mana per turn, but you get it um, through different creatures that attack or um, die and different things. And then these you gain by finding them throughout each biome and they cost based over here anywhere from one to four or five, I believe. Now, as far as options go, not really many options to change or anything. You have ugly fast mode, which after you play a while, you can turn that on and you'll kind of speed up the combat and go through the game a little bit quicker. There is also isometric control, which will allow you to control your character when you're traversing different biomes with the arrow keys or the gamepad. But right now, if you don't have it on, you can move with the mouse and wherever you click or click and hold, your character will move. First, let's take a look at the Book of Magic. This is where your cards will have when you play each battle. Now you can upgrade. So if you right click here, it'll split this into two flame sparks. When you click and hold and put one over each other, it upgrades back up. And you can only have a set number of cards here and then a set number of cards here and you can change at any time you want before battles you can change your cards here's your inventory where you have different artifacts that you collect throughout all you have to do is click and drag up here and it puts it in the right spot now to move throughout the biome in the game you just click and hold wherever you want pick up that bonus the next creature you summon has plus two health anything was this way first let's go this way to south yep dead end okay you just click and hold, or you can click, okay, we stop moving, okay, click and tap. And then we can attack or flee. If we flee, we just go back. So the bonus for this one is poison monsters get plus two attack. We want to make sure we have as many poison monsters as possible, I think. We'll do that. All right, let's go poison shroom. First, we fireball this. Play the little teddy bear guy. Attack here. Alright, this can go here. This attacks once. Then we'll kill this. Corruption. So I have 20 runes, so we can attack him. We can play a monster next turn. If I play this, the poison shroom can kill stuff in one hit. There we go. Okay, fine, it's fine if we attack this. That's probably good. And I just attack to kill. It's very easy. Combat's very easy. Just click and drag. It's kind of hard to see where the um, the enemy placement is or where you place your creatures on the ground, but that's okay. All right, let's upgrade our thief. Upgrade. All right, go down these steps. Nothing there, nothing there. All right, keep going. Attack. All right, let's play Assassin. And then into Dark Archer. Now if I attack and kill the 3-6. Oh, okay. And then we'll make the shroom. This does eight, so you attack here first. And then the archer attacks. 
Come on, Archer. Victory. So many poison shrooms. We can upgrade our card, maybe? The arrow card? Oh no, we already have it upgraded. We need one more. We need one more arrow card to upgrade. Alright, tech. These are weak ones. That's good for us. So this guy's pretty strong. Alright, let's go stone guy. Into two rooms. Stone guy attacks. Room attacks. Room attacks. Okay. Another guy there. And there. Easy peasy. Victory. A squeezy. Alright, more cards we lost last round. Let's look and see. We can upgrade our scorpion. Click and drag up. Comes the scorpion stalker. If I put this in, this is way better than the ice wolf right now. All right, get more runes over here. Anything over here? Do, do, do. No, but I want that health buff. Okay, I got the health buff and we attack. Alright, we got the scorpion, so that's good. It's a 512. Let's shoot this. And then attack. Come on, mushroom. Come on, little sapling. Shroom kills shroom. Shroom on shroom crime. And then we end our turn. Because I want the bug to kill the sapling. Perfect. Now we just win. Attack. And attack. Get the treasure chest. Another scorpion. Um, all right, we're good. We gotta be pretty close to the end. All right, uh, eight, eight, and a six, six. Oh, buddy. All right, let's go with this into frozen biter into little cute cat you attack here kills him you attack here guy eats this you eat this all right 3 3 kills that. Little ghost, you win. Casper, the winning ghost. Let's go to this. Another scorpion. I think we can upgrade. We can make a big scorpion. So, scorpion to scorpion. Then, scorpion to very big scorpion. Now it's a 724 on this map with the special uh, biome. The 924. It's a big boy. Ooh, there's runes down here. What's over here? I'll go up here. Oh, here's the key finally. I have found the key. Get this spell buff. Fight this lizard. No. Fight the lizard. Alright, two blurg wizards. Lizards, not wizards. Alright, go 
big giant scorpion. Oh my god, I can kill this in like one hit. Easy. Alright. Uh, I guess we'll just attack, it doesn't really matter. And turn. Alright, go giant scorpion. Victory for the scorpion. Get over here. No archer. Okay. Oh god, he's here. Skeleton bad man. So this is like the boss. These are like bosses. You can choose to fight them or you run to the next pile. Whenever you think you're ready. If you think you're ready to fight him, you just let him run into you once he catches up. Or if you're ready to go to the next biome, you don't think you're strong enough, you want to keep getting stronger. You go through this keyhole right here. And you fight him. Then you go back in the pub. You get a quest from the innkeeper. Like we do here. And then we go back down here. See what this guy has. If I give him that, we'll get Spirit Burn. I don't like that card. Decline. Well, that'll do it for my impressions of Cardclism. I really enjoy the unique elements it brings to this genre. The creature system, as well as upgrading the cards when you have two of each kind. Then they upgrade into another. You have another two tier, up to three tier. So level one, level two, and max level. I think that's really unique. I think the movement, you don't really have that in any of these games since latest Fire Monster Train, where you have like an ARPG style movement, and having to run from enemies and move around the map and different biomes and different things. Um, I think it can definitely be more flushed out, especially it being er in early access. I think some of the, there's not enough information on the screen that's not easily accessible. Um, people like showing, I know it kind of flashes on the icon of who can attack, but it's not very uh, visible or you know easily noticed. I think um, the, also the squares on where you can place a creature needs to be a little bit, they blend in with the, the ground depending upon the biome that you're in. I think that could be uh, another feature that could be added. But playing just with just a mouth is super easy. Just a mouse, not just a mouse. Mouth um, is super easy. And I think that it would, you know, if you're a low mobility user and you enjoy this genre, then I think you will definitely enjoy this game. It is an early access, comes out this week. I don't know what the retail price will be, but as long as the devs continue to um, develop it and improve it on it, I'll definitely be playing. I've definitely been addicted to playing it um, and trying to get all the cards and unlock all the upgrades and artifacts and different things. So um, I hope you enjoy this game as well. And with that, if you're looking for more disability content, you can follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv backslash one hand mostly. I stream most weekends at 1 p.m. CST. So until next time, keep leveling up.